everybody. As you're probably aware from uh, recent videos that have been posted, I do more than just use the Clegal Adam and the Clegal Vision. I'm also now playing with the Mattel Aquarius. I mean, if you want an orphan, I mean, the Aquarius makes the Adam look like it comes from a family of like 30 siblings. So, anyways, today I need to work on something because I just moved some of my game that I'm writing over to the Adam, or to the Aquarius to test it on the hardware, and I found out that my controller don't work too well. So we got to take it apart and fix it. So here we have the little controller for the Aquarius. It's, it's actually kind of cute. And even though it does have the same plug as the Ataris and the Clecos and everything, yeah, it's not the same. This actually has, this right here has 16 positions. One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, 16 possible positions. Not eight like the Atari and the Atom and the Commodore and all the others that use the same joystick combination where you have an up, down, left, and right. Then you have the up, left, or up, right, down, right, and so forth. You have the corners. This one has 16. Why? Who knows? And then six buttons. So a lot of happening on this little thing there. Makes it a little bit more complicated to work on. Like a program. So let me get my little bucket here. And we're going to take it apart. I've never had this apart before. I'm hoping that I'm not going to open it up and springs are going to go flying everywhere. Because if so, then I'm kind of screwed. But it looks like it's going to be simple. So let's go at it. Yeah, I could have looked online and found me a video. And followed somebody else's examples. But you know what? Meh. Go at it. Do it. You can do this. I got another thing I need to do too on the Aquarius. I have a composite video upgrade for the Aquarius, which I actually do have to watch the video when I do it. I'm going to do that after this is done. So, okay, we got that part here. Now, now what do we do? Does it just... Okay, that lifts off. So far, so good. Okay. So, ugly mylar. I hate mylar. It's kind of interesting, though, how they just embedded them. Oh, wow. As they're combinations. If you look, see, they're using, they're using all nine pins here. So probably what they're using is one pin is power and the other eight go back in. So that gives you eight bits, one byte of data you can send in. But it's fascinating how, does this lift off? It does, okay. That lifts off. Fascinating, look at, look at, look at, look at these little things. How you have all these combinations in here. So as you're going down through it, it's like, Ups, and then as you're pushing further, you're getting some of these other ones involved, and then more of them, and less of them. And that's ingenious and messy at the same friggin' time. Wow, all those little pins fascinating. And I'm not seeing anything that's telling me, Oh, this is why you're not working. I'm assuming it's dirty, I just don't know, is it cleanable? So, we got that there. So if that pushes down on that, see, as, you, as you're pushing different spots, you get different directions. Which sucks, because all I need is up and down, left and right. I don't need these corners. And I think the corners are getting in the way. But, say that be, what am I going to do? So these are just simple things. Alright, so how do we clean this? Take you back off. I don't want to break it. I don't want to ruin it. Does it just come out? We're both learning at the same time. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so that's one layer right there. Okay. Do all the layers come out at the same time? They do. Are they cleanable? Should, can they be cleaned? Should they be cleaned? What is it? I mean, it's like... It's like it should. I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to ruin it. I know it's not designed to be fixed. I mean, look how simple this is. It's Myra. Is it glued in or something? It's not coming up, so it must be glued down. No, you're not glued down there. Let's see up here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. You come up all in one piece like that. Okay, that helps. But what's stopping it right here? Is there something? 
Yeah, I got, yeah, this, this is just, this is just a little piece here, just a cover that's holding it down. Okay, yeah, okay, so it's got that little thing now, see? Probably can't see because it's your clear plastic, but that was holding it down like a locking thing. All right, now it's open. All right. Now we can open this up. And, oh, okay, we got this in the middle. Don't forget that goes in there. See? Little the clear washer thingy that goes in between the two, so let's don't forget that. Don't want to put it back together and say, ooh, where'd you come from? So there's three pieces. It's got, yeah, it does have, can you see, it's got like discoloration in here, like it's tarnished. I don't know how I go about cleaning that. Oh, and I can see it is worn down too. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing is, it's, it's all worn. I can see, can you see it? Probably not, but you see the wear in there? So it has been worn down, and that's probably why I'm getting intermittent connections. I don't know if it's fixable. Well, what we'll do is I'm going to just clean it off with a Q-tip and see what happens. I'm going to take a Q-tip. Take a little bit of the rubbing alcohol, or alcohol they rubby. Put some in here. Not sure. Well, I hope it doesn't get ready. I've never had to remove my lobby or remove the contact surface before, so let's see what we got. Okay, so it's not coming, the tarnishing isn't coming off, but it is getting some dirt off it. So let's just gently wipe it off. Let me see how much we get off of this side here. Well, there is some there. I, I think it might be pulling some of the contacts off too, but who knows. And then we're going to go to this side. The buttons seem to work. What about cleaning them too? I mean, it's quite possible if there was just one fleck of dust in here it could cause an issue also. Alright. Let's just wipe these off. And then go this side here. Alright. Okay, dokie, now we got that. Let's see what we got here. Now to put it back together, it goes like this. Um I'm gonna assemble it in here. So you there, you there. First layer in, get it in the little pegs that are up here that holds it in place. Get the first layer is in, then the separating layer is in, then this little circular thingy goes there, okay. Then this last layer goes on top. Put them out on the pegs again, like so. It's like it's missing that peg. That's strange. And then we have this little locking thingy that just goes above it, like so, to hold it all in place. Ingenious and chintzy at the same time, but it's kind of cool. And then this goes on here, like so. And these go on there. It's got little clips on that side to lock it. See the little clips there? You gotta get them in there. Like that. Then pull this into the hole there and then lock it on that end and there. Now she's back together. Alright. I should look and see if there is an actual joystick for the Aquarius. Or is there a mod that would let you modify an Atari style joystick to work with the Aquarius? I've never worked with these little rotating disc things. I think television has that too. I guess it must have been a thing. But I, I don't get it. Because you have no, I mean, I guess you get used to how it works and you might actually even like it after a while because there, technically there is no really moving parts other than that thing just rotating or moving up and down. There's nothing that really can break. 
but you have no indication of left, right, up, and down. It's like, uh, that area. I mean, could you do this? I guess you could rotate around too. Anyhow, I'm gonna plug it in. Let's see if I can figure out how to get the camera over there. All right, so now we're over here at the Aquarius. We go out and data pack or data drive encoder that I glued. I didn't put up. I picked it up. As you can see, the screen is pretty bad with the RF. That's why I'm putting in the composite in to make it look like wrestling. But we're all hooked up here, and I've got a copy of Terminal 2022 in here that I'm working with. And I just want to test and see if the hand controller works now. So I press H for hand controller. See, when I go to black, the screen is really bad on there. It's that's why I gotta change it. So let's try it. Fire works, obviously. Down works. I think up seems to work better now. Okay. All right. So let's just see. Oh yeah. Now you're working. So you are just dirty. Yay! As you can see, I've got massive overscan. You can't see the top of the screen and the side. And there is no real control unless it's yeah. I suck. Um, there is no control on the monitor. Unless it's deep inside and on the TV. And I don't like taking TVs apart. I'm afraid of getting electrocuted. But that worked. So the next thing we're going to do is. I'm going to take this apart. And I'm going to do the composite video on it. And see how that works. But it's nice to see that. That was easy to fix. Let me get back to reset. Hand controller. One, one, one. And nuke them. Yeah, I guess you get used to this controller, but it is. Maybe it's easier if I don't take my finger up off of it. Maybe that's what it is. By lifting my finger up off of it, I'm getting a little out of sync. All right, so there we go.